Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, Eulice. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Um, quite well. Kind of well. Okay, so let me see. I can see that we also have Wilbur. I think that Wilbur is... Um, are you sick, Wilbur? Uh, we have Catherine. We also have Carlos. We also have Carlos Dominguez. I got some messages from some of you, but I don't know um, your names, right? I, I got some messages that you are sick. I don't know if Wilbur is the one, but okay. I understand, guys. If you are sick, um, it's okay. You can go ahead and turn off your camera, okay? As long as you are paying attention, that is okay, all right? So welcome once again. So we are going to start with today's class. We are going to start with today's agenda. So we have the first thing, which is the warm up. Then we are going to move to grammar. And today we are going to study unit two. And we are going to talk about procedures in a restaurant. That is going to be the main topic uh, for today. But we are going to have many activities as well. So we have the speaking time, we have reading time, and we also have educational game. And we have the end of the, the class, which is the wrap up, okay? So uh, first of all, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, guys. And the first thing is, how was your weekend? How was your weekend? Was it good? Was it so-so? Was it relaxing, interesting? Did you go out? Did you go to eat to any um, restaurant? How was your weekend? I would like to know. Mm -hmm. So let me see. And okay, so I'm going to ask some of you guys. So Rose, how was your weekend? What did you do? Mm -hmm. Is Rose there? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Guys, can you hear me? Ms. Kuda? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. So, Rose, are you there? What? Well, I think that Rose is not there. Okay, let me, let me check something, okay? Okay, so I can see that two of you well, Wilbur is at work. Uh, Susana Reyes is at work. Okay. Oh my God, I have a lot of messages from you. Okay, so let me see. I think that the one that is sick is Carlos Dominguez. Carlos Dominguez. Okay. All right. So Carlos Dominguez, Susana and Wilbur. All right. Okay, so Rose, are you there? Yes, teacher. Uh, no, no, yes. Rose. Okay, thank you. All right, Rose. So let me see. Uh, Nelson, okay, I got Raul. All right, guys. Let me see. We also have Salvador Bernal. Okay, guys, the ones that are not busy, please try to turn on your camera. Remember that uh, that one is a rule, okay, from INSA4. Yeah, so let's see. Um, okay, so Walter David Diaz Ruiz, can you please let us know how was your weekend? What did you do? Okay, good night, everyone. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Okay, let me see. Hello? Yes, Walter. Okay, my weekend was very interesting because in Saturday, I went to my pre-specialization classes. Okay. All, all, all morning. Then I went to visit my 
my family mm -hmm. and and also I went to the movie theater with my daughter mm -hmm. to see a BTS concert. All right. <clears throat> On Sunday, I what did I do? What did I do? Mm -hmm. On Sunday, let me remember. Yeah. And uh, I woke up uh, late. Okay. I cooked to the lunch. And in the afternoon, I went to, to the supermarket to buy the food for my daughters okay. to the week. Yeah, that's right. all. All right. Thank you, Walter. Okay, so I can see that you had a really busy weekend then, right? So let's see. Uh, what about you, Nelson? How was your weekend? What did you do? Hi, good evening, everybody. Well, in my weekend, I was good. It was I good. went to no Unicentro Soyapango. Oh, you went to visit. Yeah, I, I went to visit. Okay. Como no lo conocía tampoco. I know it. Okay, now you have visited, okay? So. Yes. And uh, the the travel, the travel for Unicentro, um, I was uh, very hot. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. very hot. And I'm afraid a little bit because it's uh, a pango. <laughs> <laughs> for me, for me. Kind of I, I, I had uh, bad experience mm -hmm. in this area. Yes. And uh, then, then the all all the Sunday, and I stay I, I stay at my home. Okay. And I rest all day. Okay. <laughs> uh, I cooked uh, my lunch. Mm -hmm. My uh, I cook with my mother. I spend time with my mother, my sister. I I went to the park with my dog. Okay. At the night. At night. At at night. Okay. Okay. At night. And all that. Just that. Okay. Just that. Just that. Sorry. Perfect. Thank you, Nelson. All right. So I I would say that you rested and you enjoy it, right? Yeah, you visited Thank Unicentro, you. Soy Pango, so that is that is good, right? At least you visited a new place. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Have you visited Plaza Mundo? Yes. I yeah. have bad experience. As well? Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. Nelson. You have bad experiences with Soy Pango then. I okay. know. Uh, I stole. Oh, okay. Yeah. Stoller, stoller, stoller. Okay. This place. A rover. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. okay. So let's see. Um, what about you, Raul? How was your weekend? What did you do? Uh, let me see. Uh, from from Friday to Saturday, mm -hmm. I went. To the beach with okay. with some friends of the war of the work mm -hmm. and and then well then we 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 stay in the I don't know how 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 can I say rancho in a in a ranch ranch yes. Ah, okay. So we we stay in a ranch and then we return the the Saturday at at let me see at twelve. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, at, at twelve, and then I I went to my house and rest all all day. Okay. And the next day, the Sunday, I wake up early at mm -hmm. 5 a.m. because 
I I I went to the to the hike. So I I travel and no, well I, I I went to the Chalatenango, okay. uh, a place uh, called uh, let me see the name yeah. ah El Peñón de Cayahuanca. Okay. Yeah, is in the El Salvador, in in. Guatemala and in Honduras. So mm. it's very funny the trip. Okay. And I walk a lot. <laughs> and then I return to my house and I sleep. And now I I wake up early to went to my job. Okay. All right. Perfect. Uh, you you had a really I would say busy, funny, and tiring weekend, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. That is cool. All right, guys. So I can see that you have enjoyed your weekend and that is good. Okay. So we are starting a new week. So this week we are going to learn new things. Okay. So I hope you are with energy. I know that is Monday. Um, and sometimes it's kind of, you know, difficult to start Mondays, but I hope you have energy for our, our class. Right, so today we are going to start by learning the following. We are going to start by learning vocabulary, okay? So let's see. As you can see, we have eight pictures right here. So we have from one to eight, and we also have the pink words. So what we need to do is that we are going to match the words with the pictures. So let's see. What is number one? What is number one from those veggies? Okay, veggies. Okay, veggies. Oh. Okay, veggies. Okay, what about number two? Sweet potato. Sweet potatoes. That is correct. Yes, and that. What about number three? Oats. Oats. Excellent. Okay, oats. Do you like oats? Yes. yes. It is delicious, right? Yes. Yes. I do. yes. Okay, perfect. What about number four? Nuts. Yes, nuts. Perfect. Nuts. Yes. What about number five? Buns. Okay, this is called mm. buns. Yes, buns. buns. Yeah. So, buns, panecillos. yes, panecillos or bollos, right? Like this, like buns, like the ones for hamburgers. Uh -huh. Yes, very good. All right. What about number six? Flour. Yes, th this is flour. Yes. What about flour. number seven? Seven. Green beans. Green beans. Green beans. Green beans. Green beans. Yes. All right. How do you say ejotes? Green beans. Green beans. Green beans. Yes. And what about number eight? Insects. Insects. Right. Do you like green beans? Yes. Yeah. You like green beans? Okay, perfect. What about sweet potatoes? Have you tasted sweet potatoes? Yes, I do. Okay. I don't like them. Okay, you didn't like them. Okay, perfect. So do you like veggies? More or less. More or less, okay, perfect. All right, guys. So now we are going to start by learning uh, cooking vocabulary, okay? cooking vocabulary. So we have number one till eight. Okay, so I need uh, Nelson, help us uh, to read all of them, okay? Go Nelson. Okay, number one, drain. Yes. Number two, uh, whisk. Yes. Number three, squeeze. Squeeze. Number four, mash. Yes. Number five, boil. Yes. Number six, grape. Mm -hmm. And number seven, spread. Yes. In num and number eight, st stir. Stir, perfect. Okay, so we have drain, whisk, squeeze, mash, boil, grate, spread, and stir. Yeah? 
So let's see, what is the meaning of drain? What do you think drain is? It's when I remove, for example, the spaghetti with the water. Excellent, very good. Yes, that is correct. So drain means like escurrir, right? Very good. What about whisk? The ingredients. Yes, that means mix, right? Whisk is the same as mix, batir. Perfect. What about a squeeze? What is a squeeze? What do you think? Exprimir. Yes, exprimir, right? Exprimir, or it could be estrujar, or uh, yes, exprimir. What about number four, mash? What do you think mash is? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Aplanar, amasar. Aplastar. Yes. Triturar. Okay, triturar. Um, it could be um, also aplanar, could be, yes, okay. Uh, another word could be like machacar, right? That could be mash as well, all right? What about boil? Well, that one is kind of easy, right? Boil means hervir, right? What about grate? Grate, we grate the cheese, right? Uh -huh. Rayar. Yes, rayar. What about a spread? What is the meaning of a spread? Untar. Untar, very good. And a stir, what is the meaning of a stir? Menear. Menear, mezclar, revolver, okay? You stir your coffee, right? Whenever you add sugar in the coffee, you stir that. Very good, okay? Remember that those are verbs. Well, in this case, cooking verbs, okay? Those are verbs whenever you are cooking, okay? Drain, whisk. A squeeze, mash, boil, grate, spread, and stir. Yeah. Then we also have uh, from 9 to 16. Okay. So let me see. Hey, Rafael, help us reading, please. Okay. And number nine, roast, curve, chop, break, mix. Need Latin mm -hmm. sprinkle. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we have roast, carve, chop, break, mix, knead, flatten, and sprinkle. Yeah. So what is the meaning of roast? Well, that is asar, right? What about carve? What is the meaning of carve? Any idea? Rebanar. Yes, correct. Like carve. Como cortar en rebanada. Correct. Yes, carve. Chop, you know, that is cortar o trocear, right? We chop carrots, we chop potatoes, right? Yes. Um, we also have break, and well, that one is uh, quebrar, right? Or romper, all right. Then we also have mix. Well, the same word says what it is, right? What about need? What is need? Amasar. Amasar. You need, yeah, uh, different ingredients, right? And uh, the flour, right? What about number 15, which is flatten? Flatten. What is flatten? Aplanar. Aplanar, yes, that is correct. Uh -huh. Aplanar, yeah, and what do we flatten? Mass, right? Mass, yeah. What about 16, which is a sprinkle? What is a sprinkle, guys? Sazonar. Sazonar. Mm, okay. Um, well, sprinkle. Rociar or 
espolvorear. A sprinkle. You sprinkle uh, pepper. You sprinkle different uh, seasoning, right? Yeah, rociar, espolvorear. Yeah, sprinkle. Yeah. Then we also have a slice, peel, fry, and pour. What is the meaning of a slice? Rebanar. 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 Peel. Pelar. Fry. And pour. Verter. Yeah. You pour water into your cup, right? You pour um, the coffee. I don't know. You verter. Yeah. Verter. Pour. Yeah. Uh, you pour milk whenever you are eating cereal mm -hmm. into your bowl, right? Yes, support. So okay, remember once again: drain, whisk, squeeze, mash, boil, grate, spread, stir, roast, carve, chop, break, mix, knead, flatten, sprinkle, slice, peel. Fry and pour. Yeah. Now let's move. And I have a question for you. Okay. How to make a maruchan soup? All right. The easiest one. Right. So we have some steps. Okay. We have, first of all, we boil some water. Yeah. We boil. Yeah. Then we pour the hot water. You see? After that, we wait for four to five minutes. Okay, we wait for that. Then we chop and add hard boiled eggs. Well, that is if you like that. If not, you can omit that step, right? Then add lemon and enjoy. Do you prepare your maruchan soup like this? Or what are the steps that you follow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you add to your maruchan? For me, mm -hmm. I, I change the, the eggs uh, mm -hmm. for cheese. Excellent. So delicious. Okay. Yes. All right. Perfect. Uh -huh. Somebody else? that adds any other ingredient? Maybe avocado. Oh, avocado. 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 Oh yeah, it is delicious as well, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So those are the steps, okay, to make a maruchan soup, yeah? But in this case, with the vocabulary that we have learned, okay, that we have right here, yeah, what we are going to do is the following, okay? We are going to create four teams, and each team will present, okay, different, um, different dishes. In this case, team one, you are going to explain how to make a cup of coffee. Simple. Right now, team two explain how to make hamburgers. Mm, kind of difficult, could be okay. Team three explain how to make a salad, yeah. And then team four explain how to make a cup of chocolate, yeah. With the steps that you have seen right there, okay, plus any other vocabulary that you may find um, right now that you are going to develop this exercise, please try to create at least five steps, yeah? Five steps of your recipe, yeah? Because I would like you to, to investigate, okay? If you don't know um, how to say something, first of all, try to investigate it. And then if you don't uh, find it, ask me, okay? Ask for help. Then do you have any question right now? I'm going to create the, the teams. okay? I'm going to create the teams and you are going to go to different breakout rooms. I will give you around five to seven minutes, okay? So, and then we are going to come back and one of you is going to present, okay? Try to choose who is the one that is going to present before coming to the main room, okay? 
you are going to decide. Okay, so here we go. Uh, okay, so team one, we have, well, some of you won't participate because I know that you are sick or probably you are at work. Okay, so that's why we are going to make um, just four teams. Well, uh, team one, Wilbur, but I know that you cannot participate. Okay, I'm going to say your names. Okay, Wilbur, Carlos Dominguez, Fatima, Catherine, Raul, and Rose. Team two, Andrea, Carlos Eduardo, Rafael, Salvador, and Jensi. Team three, Ana Lorena, Glenda, Hosman, Karen, and Walter. Uh, team four, Blanca, Carlos Arias, Edwin, Eulise, and Nelson. Okay, so here we go. Okay. How do you do the hamburger? <laughs> uh, a big and fat hamburger. <laughs> um, the first step and the dog to at dog. To make the salad. Who wants to write? First step. Is that? One step. Hola. Edwin. Uh, yeah. Se entrecorta de tu. Okay. Bueno. Bueno, el primer paso, first step. Eh, boil the water. Boil the water. Water. The water. When the water. Uh... What time only for what what minutes? How much? Uh, for. <laughs> for for five minutes. Okay. Boil the water for five minutes. Okay. Then uh, we add. No. No, no. Is oh. uh, chocolate into the bowl. Pour, pour, pour. Pour, pour the pour the water in the in the cup. Okay. Or first uh, the chocolate. I don't know. <laughs> pour the chocolate into the bowl. First. What? So you have to bowl the chocolate without with the water for five or ten minutes. Okay. Okay, but okay again. Uh, number one, boil the water for five minutes. And boil the mixing the ingredients is the finished. Yeah. And then, antes de esta última, a mi parecer, iría add the sugar. 
Okay. Ingredient. What what do you want to say? ¿Con qué le ponemos que lavamos los vegetales? Feed. Feed the carrot. Ah, yeah, peel. Peel. Peel, yeah. peel the carrot and cucumber. Tomatoes. They ain't slide. Uh, a lot of mm, wait a few seconds or minutes or minutes two it's okay mm, yeah okay. wait two minutes and or to serve and then uh, drink it And then enjoy it is the correct for me. Okay. That's it. So uh... done. <laughs> We vote. Uh, uh, say, uh, I don't know if I say white cream or crema batida. Uh, I don't know. White cream. <laughs> I don't know. Teacher, yeah, help. Some people <laughs> put uh, white cream on top of the chocolate or malvavisco. I don't know. Marshmallows. Marshmallows, right. Okay, number six. Gente picky. <laughs> As a, on the top, on the top, marshmallows. Okay. Okay, so how okay. do you say crema batida? White, white cream. Oh, okay. Whip. Whip. Whip cream. cream. Yes. And you write it down like that. Whip. Yes. Oh, cream. Okay. Mm -hmm. No me alcanza para eso. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. You finished? Yes. So it's you are on. team four? No, number four. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you are going to make the, the exposition right here, okay? So let's see. I would like to listen which are the steps that you follow. Okay. Wait a moment, please. Yes. Okay. Uh, how to prepare a cup of chocolate. Uh, boil the water for five minutes. Pour the chocolate in the cup. Pour, pour the water in the cup. Mm -hmm. Stir the chocolate in the cup with the water. Mm -hmm. uh, add, on, add on the top uh, marshmallows. Wait two minutes and then Enjoy it, the cup of chocolate. Okay, very good. Repeat after me and say a stir. Stir. Perfect. Okay, very good. Do you like uh, to drink chocolate? Yes, I like it. It is delicious, right? Teacher. Yeah. I have a question. Yes. What is the correct form to use a whisk, stir, a mix? Mm -hmm. In this case, 
Yes. A stir is whenever you have, for example, coffee, chocolate, right? Whenever you are preparing something. So, usted revuelve. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Now, which was the other one? Whisk. Whisk is like a batir. Okay. For example, um, eggs, right? Okay. Yes, usted lo bate. And the other one? Uh, mix. And mix. Mix is um whenever you have a lot of ingredients, right? So you mix all of them. You add like a different uh, ingredients. So you mix them. Like salad. Like salad, correct. You can mix ingredients in a salad, but we cannot say you mix uh, your coffee. No, you stir. Porque se lo menea. Okay. Yeah. Um, usted puede mezclar ingredientes, pero no los puede menear. I mean, la acción es muy distinta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. El mix okay. es eso, más que todo como mezclar ingredientes. Uh -huh. Tal cual el nombre, digamos así. Tal cual okay. el mix. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. okay, thank you. Okay, very good. All right. So let's go back to the main room. You already presented. So, so um, you are going to use, you are going to hear just the other ones, okay? Let me see. Um, let's close all the rooms and let's go. Okay. So let's see. Um, do we have team one here? Team one? I think that yes. Team one? Okay. So, Raul, are you going to present? Uh, somebody else? No, I can't. I can. You can? Okay. Yeah. All right. Are you going to share your screen? I... No? No, I, 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 I don't write. You didn't? You didn't write? No, I was in the chat. <laughs> okay. All right, Raul. <laughs> Go. Okay, Raul. Yes. Uh, what we need to prepare a, a coffee, uh, first uh, we need a... a a water, a hot water, mm -hmm. and we need also a gross uh, coffee, I guess, uh, molido, se me olvida eso. Uh, then we need to put the hot water into the, the cup, mm -hmm. and then uh, we need to we need to mix the, the coffee and enjoy. <laughs> okay. All right. Ah, you... and put sugar, maybe. Okay. You need to add sugar. Add, add sugar. Yes. Okay. Um, Café molido? Growth. Growth uh, coffee, I, I guess. Okay. Yes, ground coffee. Okay. Yes. All right. Perfect. Um, whenever you said you need to, I think that you said you need to put a hot water, remove the article. A hot water? No, just hot water. Okay. Because okay. water is uncountable. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Very good. Team three. Well, no, team two. Explain how to make hamburgers. How do you make hamburgers seem to? Let me see team two, I'm going to call. Hello. Your names. Okay, Rafael. I'm going to explain yes. how do you make a hamburger? Yes. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, perfect. Let me stop sharing mine. Okay. Go. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you see my screen? Yes. Okay. 
uh, how how make a hamburger? Uh, between how make I go in imagine two. <laughs> okay. Wash the vegetables, tomatoes, lettuce, green peppers, green peppers, and mm -hmm. the second step mm -hmm. is we sprinkle the meat with spices as you want. Mm -hmm. And step three, slice the vegetables and fry the meat. Uh, step four, toast the bread and slide, slice it. Mm -hmm. uh, step five, uh, between two slices of bread, the meat, uh, vegetables, and sauces. Sauces. All right, um, very good, uh, okay. Then just an observation, Rafael, uh, how to, how to make. How to make, yeah. yeah. That's the only observation that I have. Okay, very good. Okay, thank so you. So healthy, yeah. Okay, and team three, explain how to make a salad. How do you make a salad, Team Free? Mm -hmm. So we have Anna. Hello, what you guess? Okay. Uh, the first step, uh, buy the ingredients. Okay. Next, wash ingredients. Uh, step three, peel cucumber, carrot, and slice tomatoes with lettuce. Okay. Uh, next, put ingredients in a bowl, mm -hmm. sprinkle salt and add lemon with pepper, and finally, enjoy your salad. Okay. All right. Um, thank you, Anna. Repeat after me and say lettuce. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, guys. I'm going to take the attendance, all right? So here we go. Ana Lorena? Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia? Andrea Sofia? Blanca Jennifer? Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez? Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. Mm, okay. Eh, Carlos Eduardo, Sto, Eduardo Torres. Present. Thank you. César Homero Amaya. Present. Thank you, César. Eh, Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Thank you, Edwin. Eulice Torres. Present. Thank you. Fátima Noemi. Present. Ok, thank you. Um, Glenda Toledo. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal. Here I am. Thank you. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Juan Francisco. Okay. Karim Lisset Sanchez. Thank you. Catherine Indira Velasquez. Catherine? Present. Yes, thank you. Uh, I'm here, teacher. Okay, Carlos. Uh, Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua. Nelson Alberto Peraza. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present. Thank you. Raul Ernesto Gonzalez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen Enriquez. Present. Thank you. Susana Milena. Susana. I saw Susana for, for a minute. But. Walter David Diaz Ruiz. Present. Okay, thank you, Walter. Wilber Alberto. Wilber. 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 Yeah, I think that he's busy. And Jensia Susena Sanchez. Okay. Here, present. present. Yes, thank you. Eh, Carlos Arias. Carlos Arias. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Carlos. And thank you, Jensia. Okay. 
Perfect. So let's move, guys. Let's move and let's continue. Okay. So now today we are going to start with unit two. And let me ask you, are procedures in a restaurant important for you? Yes or no? Are procedures in a restaurant important? Yes or no? And why are they important? Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's very important. Okay. Because uh, 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 the, pro the procedures, uh, ay, como se? Don't worry, huh? The, 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 eh, los alimentos mal preparados. The food, uh, don't prepare, don't prepare good. Okay. Uh, maybe can, eh, enfermarnos, pueden enfermarnos. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, Rafael, let me ask you, is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Yeah. Okay. Because the taste mm -hmm. is different okay. to, the, to the could be. Okay. Okay. All right. So very good. I think that you have a good point right there. Rafael, okay, so now, how do you say los alimentos mal preparados, okay? You can say it like poorly prepared food. Poorly. poorly. Oh, yes, like prepared food. Yeah. Prepared okay. food is bad for our health, right? And that okay. is correct. Mm -hmm. And as you said before, yes. And in this case, um, the customer experience in a restaurant uh, is affected. Yes, is affected yeah. by procedures, of course. Okay, very good. So now, uh, there are many, many, many procedures, okay, that we can follow in a restaurant. There are many, of course, right? They all have, uh, they all have their own um, procedures. Then let me ask you, Let's number the steps a waiter follows to take a serve an order, okay? And serve the order. So we have uh, take customer's order, confirm the order, seat the customer, serve the food, greet the customer, and handle the food correctly. So let's order the steps, okay? Which do you think is the first step that in this case a waiter follows? Greet the customer. Okay. So the first step is going to be greet the customer. Perfect. Greet the customer. Yes, excellent. That is the first one. Greet the customer. Number two. Sit the customer. Sit the customer. Sit the customer. Okay, perfect. What about number three? Take customer's order. Okay, take customer's order. Number four. Confirm order. Confirm, Confirm the order. Confirm the order, okay. Number five. Serve the food. Okay. And number six. Handle the food correctly. Handle the food correctly. Okay. All right. Do you agree, guys? Do you all agree? Yes or no? Huh? Yeah. I think number five is handle the food correctly. And number six is serve the food. Okay. All right. Somebody else? Uh -huh. Like that? Mm -hmm. Yes. So when we say handle the food correctly, we involve how you prepare food, right? So in this case, yes, step number five, handle the food correctly, okay? Uh, prepare the food correctly, right? Et cetera. So that is correct. Now, let's move. It says, 
building vocabulary, okay? Use your dictionary and look for the meaning of the words below, okay? What is the meaning of handle? Manipular. Manipular. Very good. That is correct. Handle. Confirm. You know what that is, right? Confirmar. Payment. That is? Pagar. Pago. Mm -hmm. Pago. Payment. Yes. Pagar, pay. Payment, pago. Greeting. Saludar. Saludar. Okay. And notify. Notify. Notificar. Yes. Okay, so excellent. Let's move, all right? Group discussion. Okay, guys. Yeah. yeah? En la anterior, la primera palabra es manipular, pero solo con relación a alimentos o también con relación a personas. Se usa. Mm, yes, in many contexts. And se puede utilizar en muchos contextos. Mm -hmm. For example, you handle the food correctly. Ahí significa manipular. Ahora, Si yo le digo, you need to handle the situation in a good way. Tiene que manejar la situación de una forma buena. Or you need to handle uh, that team uh, carefully. Tiene que manejar el equipo eh, de trabajo, a personas, the team, carefully, cuidadosamente. So you can use handle in many contexts. Puedo utilizarlo en todos los contextos. En uno significa manejar y en otro significa manipular. En ese caso, como estamos hablando de comida, that means manipular. Yo pensaba que era como sostener o agarrar, handle. Handle. No se usa en ese. Sostener. En ese that, is, that is like hold. Hold. Um, yes, hold. En ese contexto que como sostener es hold. Um, y hold fast. Hold fast. Like sostener eh, rápido, de fast. Mm, es que es un término marino. Hold fast. Que, que, sí, yo lo había leído en, en una literatura. Creo que es agarrarse con, con toda la fuerza. Hold fast. Pero ah, no estoy seguro. Could be, could be. Because uh, if you have the whole context, si ya tiene como un contexto, puede significar que es hold fast, right? Que se, que se agarre rápido y fuerte. Puede hacer. Yeah. But yes, handle can be interpreted in different ways, but we need to look for the context as well. But handle means manejar también, eh, Salvador. Okay, puedo utilizarlo con personas. Okay. That's, Thank you. Thank yeah. you. All right. That's why we sometimes hear um, you need to handle the customer in a peaceful way, right? Tiene que como manejar al cliente de una forma tranquila. Okay, mm -hmm. handle, handle people. Yes, that is correct. Okay, very good question. So now let's move. And it says, which of the following are the most common issues with service you have experienced in a restaurant? Mm -hmm. let's, let's see. Do you think establishing a procedure could help reduce those issues? Yes or no, and why? So let me ask you, and this is a real question for you, okay? Um, which are the common issues with the service in a restaurant? Whenever you go to a restaurant, which are the common issues that you may encounter? Uh -huh. Which are the common issues? Well, uh, uh -huh. I think that the, the waiter can make a mistake with the order. Yes, that is correct. Mistakes with the orders, okay? That is one. What else? Maybe the food takes too long to be served after ordering. Exactly, that is correct. The food sometimes takes too long to be served. That is correct. What else? The waiter is rude. Yes, customer service. That is correct. That is another big, big, big problem and issue, right? Yes. Um, okay. So what else? Uh, 
I agree with the kid. <laughs> okay, all right. So then, um, you know, well, uh, Rafael, help us reading, please, those sentences. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Okay, the waiter gets you food you did not ask for. Mm -hmm. The food takes too long to serve after offer ordering or ordering it. Mm -hmm. The waiter is not polite. Mm -hmm. The dish you want to order is not available, but, but it appears listed in the, in the menu. Mm -hmm. The dish in the menu differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to the table. Yes, that is another one, right? Sometimes you probably see a picture on the menu that is not right the same as the one that you get whenever you you have the food on the table so that is another big issue mm -hmm. okay this one the dish you want to order is not available yeah sometimes that happens right you say i want this and you actually go to that restaurant because you have seen probably some advertisement on the internet right and you say hey i want to go there because i would like to try this so you go there and when you go there they don't have that type of dish right so that happens often okay um well the waiter is not polite as you said before and do you think do you think guys that we can go ahead and reduce reduce those type of issues if we had procedures or if we had um, a specific procedures, do you think that restaurants could improve? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Do you think that if we had different procedures, restaurants could improve their services? Yes. Yes. Yes, right, of course. Actually, I think that the lack, the lack of procedures are the ones that cause those type of issues, of course, right? Because if you know that your customer service is not good, so you need to enhance that, you need to reinforce those areas. If you know that the dish you uh, that probably you are advertising is not on the menu, then you are going to remove it, yeah? So then I think that, yes, if they follow procedures, so we can reduce, reduce those issues. Okay, very good. Um, what is the meaning of the lack of? If I say the lack of procedures, what is the lack? Well, it is not right there on the presentation. I just say it. Okay. So what is the lack of? Uh, the lack of. Yeah. So the lack of, guys, is la falta de. Okay. So the lack of procedures, la falta de procedimientos, the lack of money, la falta de dinero, right? The lack of education, uh -huh. The lack of patience, right? So la falta de cualquier cosa que usted quiera decir, the lack of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. The lack of empathy, right? The lack of love. The lack of culture. Okay. Absolutely. The lack of culture in our country, right? Yes, of course. All right. Perfect. So let's move. Match, those are different procedures, guys, that um, people in the restaurant need to follow, all right? So match the procedures to their descriptions. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so what is uh, number one, letter A? What do you think? Have you seen that word before? Kind of weird, right? It's really weird. Okay, so that one is, uh, the pronunciation is foin, 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 foin food. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of foin food? That one is really common. 
actually at home is a procedure that we follow. Going food? No? That the means. Uh -huh, correct. To let frozen food become warmer until it is ready to cook. So that means el descongelamiento de eh, alimentos. So thawing food, descongelar alimentos. Okay. So the verb is just thaw. Okay. Descongelar. All right. So letter A goes right here. Okay. Hand washing. What is hand washing according to the definitions that we have right there? Lavado de manos. Okay. And for the definitions that, uh, that we have right here, what is hand washing from those definitions? Wash, Wash your, your hands, hands and forearms. Wash your hands and forearms. Wash your hands and forearms with soap. to clean under two. Okay, very good. Wash your hands and forearms with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails. Yes, and dry. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about sanitizing? What is sanitizing? What is it? According to the definitions that we have right the there. The last one, the equipment in washing. Equipment in washing. washing. And the last. Infected. All right. So the last one. That is going to be letter C. Okay. What about letter D? Food storage. Employers who reside employees, employees who receive and storage food organized items in the correct place to avoid bacteria. Okay, now repeat after me and say, well, first of all, receive. Okay, receive. Then we also have uh, items. Okay, items. I know that in Spanish, this one is items, but in English is items okay in english is items and then we also have bacteria bacteria okay what is the mean of purchase compra okay and from the definitions that we have right there uh um, i package food only from the listen package, package food only from my supplies from my yeah license suppliers Okay. Very good. Yes. And the last one, tasting method. Take a simple of what you want to taste. One taste oh, and a spoon. Mm -hmm. Put this on a mm -hmm. second spoon away from the cooking area mm -hmm. and taste the product. Excellent. Guys, how do you say cubiertos? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. silverware yes silverware okay and how do you say platos desechables no I don't know. okay disposable plates disposable okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. All right, don't forget silverware. Okay, silverware, silverware. All right, guys, let's continue. Okay, now um, your turn. Okay, in pairs, choose two of the procedures you follow every day at your workplace. Well, in this case, uh, I'm not sure if you work in a restaurant or not. All right. But uh, let's see which procedures, right, you follow from those. I think that uh, some, of, some of them we can follow. I mean, we can follow all of them. Not all of them, but some of them, yes, in the workplace. But if you don't work in a restaurant, of course, you won't follow the ones uh, throwing food, food storage, right? No. I have, but, I have a quick. Yes. 
The food storage is like bodeguero. Yes, correct. Yes. Como el, el almacenamiento de la comida. En un storage, como en un, yes, como en un almacenadero. Yes. Correct. Yes. All right. So in this case, well, we're going to discuss this right here. So let me ask you. Can you please tell me two of the procedures you follow every day at your workplace from those that we have covered right here? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to ask, okay. So let me see, Carlos Arias. Yes, okay. teacher. Yes, can you tell us, okay. Can you tell us two of the procedures you follow every day at your workplace? Jancy says that she works at home, okay. All right. And the first is uh, sanitation. Okay, sanitizing, okay. Um, I think that this one probably. The hand um, wash. Yes, it's every day. Yes, okay. Hand so, washing is every day. Yes, I think that this one, letter B and letter C are the ones that we follow, right? Most of us, most of us, okay? All right, guys. So now, look at this. We are going to create a short role play, okay? In pairs, you are going to work with one of your classmates. But first, we have the example, okay? So we have the waiter and we also have Kim. I need two volunteers. One is going to be uh, the waiter and the other one is going to be Kim. Carlos Arias, you are the waiter. And Anna, you are Kim. Okay, go guys. Hello, can I help you? Can I help yes, you? Yes, I like to have some lunch. Would you like a straighter? Yes, I yes, I like a bowl of chicken soup, please. And what would you like for your main course? I like a real cheese sandwich. Would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like I like a glass of cook, please. Will Pepsi be okay? We don't have a cook. That will be fine. After Kim has her lunch, can I buy you anything else? Bring you anything else? No, thank you. Just the bite. The bill. Excellent. Certainly. I don't have my glass. How much is the lounge? Mm -hmm. That six dollar seventeen cents. Seventy five cents. Seventy five cents. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. Uh, some to you. Same to you. Okay? Same to you. All right, guys. Pronunciation. Coke. Coke. Okay. Now this one, uh, I don't have my I don't have my glasses. Glasses. Okay. And in order for you to say como aquí tiene, the phrase is here you are. Aquí tiene. Here you are. Como se le da algo a alguien y dice aquí tienes. Here you are. Okay. Here you have is not a uh, common. The common expression to say, aquí tienes, here you are. Teacher, pero eso suena como aquí estás. Y, yes, but es aquí tienes, here you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So guys, what we're going to do is that you're going to work in pairs and I need you to um, create a role play like this. If you want, you can use the same, the only one that you are going to substitute 
is the the starter, right? The starter, the, I mean, the food, that's what you are going to substitute. That's what you are going to change. Yeah, you are going to choose something else. Yeah. And of course, the total amount, okay? The drink, okay? Um, and if you want to change the conversation a little bit, you can go ahead and do it, okay? It's your choice. I'll give you just five minutes, okay? Because you already have all of the information right there. But if you want to change a little bit, go ahead and do it. I will give you five minutes and then we are going to come and I'm going to choose just maybe six of you, all right, to participate in this activity, okay? So let's go ahead and work uh, in pairs since I'm not sure, let me see. I'm going to recreate this because I'm not really sure who are the ones that cannot participate. Okay. Um, okay, oyente will be. Um, All right, give me one second. I'm going to assign. Well, Edwin is open there. Walter. Okay, let me see. Okay, Catherine, got it. Yes. Okay, then Nelson, no voy a agregar con otra persona. Nelson, okay. Salvador and Walter, Rafael. Glenda, Hosman, did you did you get the invitation? Okay, let me see. I think that yes. Okay, uh, Karen and Fatima, are you able to participate in the activity? Yes, okay. Okay, Karen. Karen, yes. Okay. Fatima, are you there? Well, I think that Fatima is not there. Okay, we can see. We have a question. We need the, the conversation or only practice and change the words? Just practice and change the words. Okay. Yes. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it says... Um, And what would you like for your main course? I would like a grilled cheese sandwich. Would you like anything to drink? Yes, I would like a glass of Coke, please. Would the taxi be okay? We don't have a call. That will be fine. Can I bring bring you anything else? No, thank you. Just the bill. Certainly. I don't have my glasses. How much is the lunch? That's six dollar seventy cents. Seventy five cents. Here you are.
Hi, teacher. Hi, is Andrea here? Andrea? No. No. Okay. Mm, let me see if Carlos, give me one second. If Carlos, go with Anna and Jensi, okay? Okay. Cuando nos fuimos ayer, llevamos a Jenny a la estación con nosotros. I said, like a star. I like a sala. Y da lo grande. A ti, sala. Permítame. Sorry. Would you like a starter salad? Yes, salad. Okay. Uh, and what would you like for the main course? Uh, uh, hamburger. So, <laughs> double, double meat. <laughs> okay, wait. Yes, I like. I like. I like a salad only. Only that. Yes. Okay. 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 What would you like for your main course? Okay, what would you like uh, for to your main course? A main course, uh, a hamburger. I like. <coughs> your hamburger with that. With French potato, French potato, French. Okay. French fries, yes, French yes. Fries. yes. Okay, um, don't know. Okay. Would you like anything to drink? A beer. <laughs> no. Yes. Coke. Yes, I like a glass of Coke, please. No, the Coke is bad. No healthy, fine. Karen. <laughs> what? Karen is so healthy. <laughs> mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Rick. Do you like anything? Drink. Okay. Uh, would you. Ah, Coke. Coke. The Coke. Coca, right? Yes. Okay. Mama. Mm. I don't have Coke. <laughs> Are you okay, Pepsi? That's fine. <laughs> no, me tiene que decir porque la gente que le gusta. ¿Cómo, cómo se puede decir? Ni modo, teacher. Eso está concentrando. Claro. Anyway. Anyway, como sea, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Y, pero tiene que ser así. Okay, anyway. Oh. <laughs> okay. You have 
Pepsi. Ok. Eh, ok, luego de que usted come, ok. Can I bring, uh, can I bring you anything else? Nothing. Can you just the pill, please? Okay. Another Pepsi. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. A dessert. Yes. Ice cream. And a check. Um. A chocolate ice cream, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, me too. Okay. Certainly. I don't have my glasses. How much is the lunch? Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Certainly. Mm -hmm. That's uh, ten dollars with ten dollars with eighty cents. Okay. You are. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Have a nice. Have a good night. It's <laughs> it's correct. Yes. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank See you, you later. Okay. Wait, I I'm I'm write it. Okay. Practice. Are you ready? Yes. Hello, Karen. Can I help you? Yes, I like to have some dinner. Uh, would you like a starter? Okay. Yes, I like a, a, a bowl of salad. Okay. What would you like for your main course? I like um, a hamburger and French fries. Okay, would you like? Uh, okay, ahí ya haga como que está comiendo y termina de comer. Okay. It's done. Como dice, como puedo decir, estoy lleno. I'm full. Uh, yes, correct. I'm full. Yes. Uh, okay. Would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a glass of Coke. Please. Coke? I don't have Coke. Do you have Pepsi? Uh, anyway, it's all fine. <laughs> Can I bring you anything else? No, thank you. Fill the bill, please. Certainly. No, I don't have my glasses. How much is the long? This is dinner? That's ten dollars with eighty cents. Here you are. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good night. Thank you. Same to you. Okay. Bye. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Very good. All right, guys. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Hey, mama. Mama. Vaya, explícame una cosa. Okay. La cuarta oración es donde estás pidiendo eh, yes, yes. la entrada. ¿Dónde te dan yes. entrada? Ok. Ok. So, let's see. Um, I will say who is your partner. Uh, whom are whom are know. you practice with? Uh, I don't know your name. 
I mean, ok, Eulice, ¿con quién estaba practicando? With me. With Ana. With, no. uh, es que no puedo ver su nombre. Oh, ahorita. ok, with Rose. Ok. Right. All right, so, Eulice and Rose. Yes, go ahead, continue. Ok. Uh -huh. um, Rose. Yes. Ok. Um, ¿Ya decidiste qué vas a poner ahí? Por tu lado. Ok, guys. Um, are you done? Did you finish or no yet? No yet. No yet. Ok, perfect. So now, um, let's see. Hosman, who was your partner, Hosman? Glenda. Glenda, okay. Glenda and Hosman, okay. All right. Um, Eulise and Rose, sure. yes, I'm going to share my screen. And Glenda and Hosman, you are going to present right now, okay? So let's see. Um, sure. Yes? Uh... ¿Podríamos cambiar, cierto? ¿Podríamos usar todo esto o tendríamos que cambiar todo? Um, I mean, you, you can use all of this. You can change just the, the, the food. Just the food. I mean, you can use the same information. Just uh, use, you just change the food and the amount. So you can use the same okay. information if you want. Yeah. Okay. So Glenda and Hosman, go. Uh, <clears throat> okay. I Rose. Um, okay, Ulisse, give, give us one one minute. Right now, Glenda and Hosman are going to present, and then if you want, Eulise with Rose, okay? I can okay. share my, okay. my screen. Okay, all right. Uh, yes, Glenda, uh, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Hello, welcome to the Hosman Pizzeria. Can I help you? Hello, thank you. I'm so hungry. Are there many people waiting? For the moment, there are only two people waiting. But don't worry, the pupusas are going to the bed quickly because she is fast. Okay, sure. Let me know the flavor that you have. I have beans, cheese and loroco, revueltas, chicken and cheese, cheese and garlic. Okay, give me two cheese and garlic and one cheese of be and beans. Would you like an item to dry, to drink? What do you have to drink for drink? I, I have coffee, hot chocolate, hot water, juice, and beers. Mm, I want two beers, so cold. <laughs> right. Can I bring your an item, class? No, thank you. That's all. Okay. Okay, that was cool. Okay, just an observation, okay? Um, hot chocolate, okay? Hot chocolate. Yes. Okay, very good. Oh my God, do you like pupusas? Yes. Yes, you love pupusas. I can see that you love pupusas right here. Okay, perfect. That was awesome. Thank you, Glenda and Hosman. Well done. Yes, very good. Okay, Um. let me see. Uh, Edwin, are you there? Okay, so who was your partner, Edwin? Jennifer. Okay. All right. So please, are you ready? Yes. Okay, go. Hello, can I help you? Yes, I would like to have some dinner. Would you like a starter? Yes, I like a salad, please. And what do you like for your main course? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I don't know, I think it's a um, hamburger. Would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a cup of coffee. Would you like sugar? Mm -hmm. mm, yes, I like it. Can I bring you anything else? No, thank you. Yes, a bill. Certainly. Could you tell me how much is it? Mm -hmm. That is $10. Here you go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay, perfect. All right, very good. You change uh, the how much is it? Very good. Well done, Edwin. Okay, so let's see. Eulisa and Rose, are you ready? Or no? No. 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 Okay. Don't worry. All right. So let's see. Um, the last, the last um participants. All right. So let's see. We would like to hear. Um, let me see somebody that probably has not participated. Um, Fatima, are you there? Fatima? Okay, Salvador Bernal. Here. Okay, Salvador, who was your partner? Walter. Okay, Walter and Salvador. Okay, go. Okay. Hello, can I help you? Yes, I, I'd like to have some lunch. Would, would you like a starter? Yes, i like a bowl of chicken soup, please. And what would you like for your main course? I'd like a grilled cheese sandwich. Would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a glass of Coke, please. Mm -hmm. Will Pepsi be okay? We don't have Coke. That would be fine. Can I bring you anything else? No, thank you. Just the bill. Certainly. I don't have my glasses. How much is the lunch? That six dollars with seventy-five cents. Here you are. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. Same to you. Okay. Thank you, guys. All right. So, um, okay, it was perfect. All right. So, um, you use the same. Okay, you didn't change like the food. And anything, but it's okay. As long as you practice, that was good. All right, guys. So now let's move and let's move to the listening time. Okay. So we are going to take the listening first. Um, let me go ahead and, and just um, share that the link for the listening practice uh, because I think that you are not on the spreadsheet. So let me go ahead and get it for you. Okay, so here you are. There you go. And uh, the passcode, remember the full name, okay? Add your full name and the passcode listening in capital letters, okay? So once you are ready, please let me know so I can play the audio. Login, please. And let me know once you are in so I can play the audio. Teacher, you know, puedo ver the link. Uh, on, on, the, on the chat, aquí en el chat, no lo ve. On the chat? No. No? Mm, ¿Es de la compu? Oh, or... yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Uh,
Ok, ya cuando estén todos me dicen eh, I'm in y yo voy a saber que, que ya son todos. I'm in. You're in. The time is running for me. I'm in. Ok, Raúl, thank you. Okay. Who is missing? Mm -hmm. Teacher, the code, the access. The... Thank you, Yancy. The, the passcode is listening, capital letters. Okay. Yeah. Uh, listening, in letras mayúsculas. Si no, no lo va a dejar entrar. ¿Alguien más que haga falta? Well, I think that no. That is not right, huh? Okay. So here we go. I'm going to play this audio twice, okay? Twice. And let me see, where is it? Okay. Just share the sound. Okay, here we go, guys. Pay attention, please. Pay attention. Hi, young lady. How may I help you? Well, yeah, I'm looking for a Father's Day gift. Okay, how about getting your father a new wallet? Hmm, how much is that wallet? Uh, which one? The black one. Oh, it's only forty ninety-five. Huh? That's too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper one? Hmm, how about this brown leather one? Hmm, I don't think my father would like the design on the outside. And it doesn't have a place to put pictures. How much is it anyway? It's twenty-five ninety-nine. Hmm, I don't have that much money. Okay, how much money do you have to spend? I'm not sure. Probably about ten dollars or so. I've been helping my mom around the house for the past week to earn some money. This is all I have. Hmm, how about this tie? That's real pretty, but the price tag says thirteen ninety-nine, and I know I don't have that much money. Well, let's just say the tie went on sale. How about five dollars? What do you say? Oh, thanks. I'll take it. Okay. The second time, okay? This is the last time. If you need an extra time, just let me know, okay? I'm going to replay it. Hi, young lady. How may I help you? Well, yeah, I'm looking for a Father's Day gift. Okay, how about getting your father a new wallet? Hmm, how much is that wallet? Uh, which one? The black one. Oh, it's only forty ninety-five. Huh? That's too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper one? Hmm, how about this brown leather one? Hmm, I don't think my father would like the design on the outside. And it doesn't have a place to put pictures. How much is it anyway? It's twenty-five ninety-nine. Hmm, I don't have that much money. Okay, how much money do you have to spend? I'm not sure. Probably about ten dollars or so. I've been helping my mom around the house for the past week to earn some money. This is all I have. Hmm, how about this tie? That's real pretty, but the price tag says thirteen ninety nine, and I know I don't have that much money. Well, let's just say the tie went on sale. How about five dollars? What do you say? Oh, thanks. I'll take it. Okay. Ready? Or no? Done. Done? Okay. So Done. Send, send your answers, guys. Submit your answers. Let me see. Let me see your scores. Sure. Yes. Young lady is like a jovencita. Yes. Mm -hmm. Young ah, lady. Okay. Thank you. All right. So I got Anna. I got Carlos. I got Carlos Eduardo, Glenda, Jose, Salvador, Karen, Nelson, Rafael, Raúl, Walter, uh, Blanca. Okay. Cesar. Okay, Eulice, okay. 
Okay, I got most of you, right? So I can see that some of you got 100, okay? That is awesome, okay? I can see that you got 80s, okay? That is uh, acceptable, okay? And I see that some of you got um, lower scores than that, okay? So in this case, um, was it difficult? Okay, very good, Hosman. Excellent. So was it difficult? No? Easy, right? Yes, <laughs> yes I know. Okay, sometimes, yes, we, we feel audio is difficult. Okay, but don't worry. Okay, the good thing is that you are practicing. That's the main purpose. Okay. Yes, that's the purpose. Um, okay, guys. So let's see, now let's move, let's move. Okay, let me see. Okay, guys, let's move and we are going to take, remember, you are just practicing, okay? That's the, the, the main purpose, okay? So let's see, we are going to take the grammar, the grammar quiz. There you go. And the passcode is grammar, capital letters, okay? Capital letters, grammar. Okay. The grammar one. Okay, guys, the grammar one is based on the simple present tense, okay? General knowledge, easy, piece of cake. All right, take it and let's see if you remember um, the rules, right? And all of that. Take it and once you are done, let me know. Okay, once you are done, let me know. So we are going to start with the speaking practice. So once you are done, let me know. Okay. You can find it in the chat, guys, in the chat here in Zoom. Okay, si no lo ve en el chat de Zoom. Okay, thank you, Yancy. Okay, Glenda and Yancy. All right, so the ones that um, just finished, I'm going to move you to a different room so you can practice, okay? And we're going to practice with those questions, all right? So please open the class because you will find those questions right there, okay? So you have those questions. You also have those questions, okay? In the meantime, since the other ones are still taking the exam. So Glenda and Jensen. And Glenda and Jensen. Glenda and Jensen. Okay, let me see who else. Okay, I got Anna. Mm -hmm.
and let's see. Postman, did you get the invitation? Thank you. And let's see who else. Carlos Eduardo. Seven. And Okay, I think that the other ones are just oyentes. Okay, so. Right, nice. What? Like. Yes, yes. Pupusas, pasteles, like panada, uh, tacos. Taco. Um, but that's a Mexican food. Uh, but in I, El Salvador? Yeah, but. It's not I think, the question, it's not the. El Salvador food. But we can talk about Salvadorian food. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, Hi. Uh, what what we what who, who we do? Okay, guys. So what you are going to do is that you're going to go to the uh, speaking time. The uh, speaking time. Um, do you have the class open? Yes. Okay. So once you're still listening, then we also have the speaking time. Well, okay, okay. I take a picture. Okay. Thank you. All right, perfect. Then you also have those three if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, so you can start practicing. Let me go ahead and check if the other teams need help, okay? Okay, thank, thank you, teacher. All right, thank you. Thank you. De llamar. Teacher, I, I don't, we, we don't hear the instructions. Oh, okay. So what you need to do is that once um, we finish with the listening practice and you have it right here, so if you go right there, we have the speaking time. Uh, speaking time. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, the speaking yeah, time. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So you can start practicing with those. We are going to practice for about seven minutes because we are almost done with the class. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, Salvador. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you use? Hello, guys. Hello, hello. I have a question. I have a question. Yes. Tell me. Uh, in the quiz, in the number six. Number six? Yes. On the test. Mm -hmm. The grammar one. Yes. The grammar. Yeah. The grammar. But the, the, the grammar, yes. And for in the number six, it says, uh, I have a mistake. Let me see. Let me see. Carlos Eduardo. Okay. Give me one second, Carlos. Okay. And number six. Number seven. Yes. Tell me. Okay. Uh, uh, I I suppose that uh, when when is a question, we doesn't well, uh -huh, we don't put well we don't add the s. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah. I had the get up, for example, she get up at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good question. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, Carlos Eduardo, first of all, let me ask you something, which is like the main question right here. So Carlos, do we see, do we see an auxiliary verb right there? No. All right. So Carlos, mm -hmm. whenever we don't see the auxiliary verb, we need, it is mandatory, we need to add the letter S. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if, if it's a question. Correct. Uh, okay. Yes. 
Exactly. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the only. <laughs> the only idea. Okay, don't worry. Okay, but yes, don't don't forget about that. Okay, because you need to add the letter S, okay? Because you don't see any type of um, auxiliary verb. That's the main reason. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, very good. Now, let me ask you something, guys. What kind of food can we find in El Salvador? Mm, can we find El Salvador? Mm -hmm. Fair, the famous pupusas. The famous pupusas, right? And now let me ask you something. Can you explain to us, uh, well, Carlos Postman or Cesar, how pupusas are made? How? Mm -hmm. How do we prepare pupusas? How? Um, because uh, it's popular in the country. Okay. It is popular in the country. Yes, pupusas are popular in the country. Yeah. But how do we cook pupusas? How do we make pupusas? Uh, how do we prepare? I, I mix the flour with the warm water. Okay. And I, I mash. Okay. I mash and then uh, I um, I make a, a bowl like a bowl and mm -hmm. I add the the beans and the cheese. Perfect. And after that, I only clap. <laughs> I don't know if it's the cold burp. <laughs> okay, you need to like clap and clap and like, clap. clap. Okay, okay. Till you make a. Apple. Apple boost. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes, it is valid. Okay. Now, do you know how to make enchiladas? Enchiladas? No. No, no. no. Mm -hmm. Is some Mexican food? Um no. no. Enchiladas are the ones that you actually ah. I make and that we add tomato, curtido, right? Tomato, oh. um, hard boiled eggs, and we also add um, some sauce. What else do we add? Cucumber sometimes. Um, yes. Uh, but enchiladas is, is uh, uh, um, like a tortilla. Tortilla. Like tortilla. Mm -hmm. It's articulated. Correct. Ah, okay, yes. But no, I don't know how can I make it. <laughs> no, right. I think that that is difficult. Okay. Yes. I mean, it is difficult because we don't actually prepare that too often, right? It's not that common. Okay. But it's almost the same as pupusa. It's almost the same. It's almost the same. Okay. So now. Let me ask you, okay? How often do you cook? Do you cook, guys? Do you prepare food at home or no? Uh, yes, in my case, sometimes yes. I cook. You you do, and you, husband? Do you? Cook? Yes, I do. You cook. Yes, I do. Yes, I cook. Are, are you good at cooking, husband? I'm so so. <laughs> I'm so so. Okay. So, and you, Carlos? Yes. That's also as well because um, I learn watching videos in YouTube. On YouTube. Mm -hmm. And you, Cesar? Uh, in my case, I don't. No, you can't cook? <laughs> Not cook. <laughs> my Not cook. God. Okay, Cesar. And okay, Carlos, what are some things that you can cook? Uh, chicken. Chicken, okay. Fried chicken? chicken. Fried chicken, yes. Okay. Fried chicken. Sometimes I can um, I can make a uh, chicken with a spaghetti. Mm, delicious! Oh my god, that is something new for me. Yes, and um, spaghetti. I can meat. Um, I can um, I I cannot prepare so because I have not the opportunity to to cook the soap the soup. soup, soup. soup. 
Yeah. Okay. And you, Houseman, what are some things that you can cook? I think the, uh, for example, spaghetti and so different. My, my favorite is the chicken. Oh my God. Okay, so I can I can see that you are able to cook, guys. Okay, you see, sir, that he cannot cook. But okay, and let's see, Houseman, what is the hardest, the most difficult thing to cook? For you, for you. Hardest, no. Difficult. No, me hace... no hardest, no se me suena. ¿Qué significa? Oh, difficult. Difficult, ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, hornear con... Bake. Bake, uh, chicken birds. Thanks. This is more difficult for me. Okay. No programmation. The, mm -hmm. the, the time in the... The oven. The, mm -hmm. the oven. In the oven, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. And you, Carlos Eduardo? Mm, well, in, for this moment, maybe the chow mein. Chow mein? Because, okay. Yes, because chow mein. I cook the chow mein around three hours. Um, Oh my God, really? Yeah. Yes, for every time I, I think that is the hardest. That I, I didn't know that that was so hard. Well, I don't, uh, I don't know when is the vegetable uh, is uh, already. Oh, got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it, got it. Yes, it's kind of difficult, but I think, well, Mm, I think that it's different if you follow different procedures, right? Mm -hmm. yes. But okay, yes. I think that we're going to keep discussing that information next class. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Let's go back. Okay. Yes. Bye. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, guys. So I think that, well, we were talking, um, we we're talking to some of you and actually we were really, um, I would say, interested in, in this topic, right? How often do you cook if you're good at cooking, okay? Or what things can you cook? Well, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here, all right? So tomorrow we are going to continue by talking about restaurants, okay? That is actually the main topic, topic for this unit. So that means that we are going to continue with the same type of um, information, okay? So be ready because tomorrow we are going to have conversation time at the beginning as well, okay? So try to join early, okay? So you can participate on the speaking time. Right now, um, we are going to stop right here just Please, uh, the only person that stays with me, let me see, let me let me get, um, I think that is Cesar, okay? The only person that stays with me, uh, let me see. Yes, Cesar Omero Amaya, please stay with me, okay? And then the other ones, you may go ahead and rest, okay, guys? Descanse, okay, descanse. Reponga sus energías, all right? Okay, have a good night. Right, guys, take care. Bye-bye. Uh, take bye. care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye. Okay, Cesar. Hi, teacher. Okay, Cesar. How are you? How do you feel? Mm. In my case, I find. Okay. Cesar, uh, would you like to continue this feedback in Spanish or in English? Mm, in Spanish. Yes, okay. So Cesar, just because I would like to I would like to hear your opinion, okay. Um I, I would change to Spanish because it's really important for us to, to know what you think about the course, right? So Cesar, eh, let me ask you. ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Cómo se ha sentido? Eh, cuénteme, ¿cómo ha estado? Pues ahorita ando un poco perdido porque la semana pasada estuve incapacitado y, y no me habían llegado los, los correos. 
Okay. Seré sincero. Por eso la semana pasada solo entré, creo que viernes. Uh -huh. No sé qué día entré y, y ahora. Porque uh -huh. este, no me habían enviado las cosas y aparte estuve incapacitado. Uh -huh. Ok, sorry. sí, estaba verificando y bueno, fue el día jueves que entró. Ok, sí. bien. Eh, bueno, si ya se dio cuenta, César, en ese caso, pues... Hemos visto ciertos temas que en realidad eh, han sido un repaso, básicamente. Entonces, eh, lo primero, pues, es decirle que qué bueno que se pudo unir, ¿verdad?, a las clases, ya que recordemos que, bueno, el inglés, primeramente, es algo súper importante, ¿verdad?, de llevarlo de la mano, pues, con todo lo que estamos haciendo, ya que hay muchas oportunidades que lo requieren. Ahora, eh, con las clases, no sé si se ha estado apoyando de las grabaciones o no. Yo creo, yo creo que no, porque si no ha entrado, entonces eh, a las clases creería que no está familiarizado con lo que hemos estado haciendo en las clases. Entonces, le voy a compartir en ese momento eh, lo siguiente. Fíjese de que nosotros, César, en la clase, con mi grupo, con ustedes, ¿verdad? Tenemos esta hoja de Excel que está en la nube, está en Google Drive. Entonces, lo que hemos hecho es básicamente que se ha, se ha hecho esta hoja de Excel para que ustedes tengan toda la información a la mano, para decirlo así, a la mano y la tengan organizada, ya que es muy importante, al menos en mi clase, que ustedes pues tengan el material antes de la clase para que lo puedan utilizar cuando estemos en la clase. Eh, este link se lo voy a mandar en este momento por el, lo voy a mandar al WhatsApp, pero también se lo voy a mandar aquí en este momento para que lo pueda abrir. Si está desde el celular, lo abre y va a abrir de que le abre súper rápido. Eh, bien, le voy a explicar, César, en este link usted va a poder ver las clases que vamos teniendo. Aquí está la primera, mire. Entonces va a poder ver el PDF y va a poder ver el video de la clase, ¿sí? Entonces, aquí ya puede ver toda la información que se ha dado en todas las clases, donde dice video class, son los videos de las clases, que cuando yo ya los subo a YouTube, también se los agrego acá. Entonces, ahora les voy a agregar el de, el de ahora en esta fila, y se los voy a agregar. Aquí va a estar. Aquí va a estar. Entonces, eh, César, Básicamente, pues, esta es la hoja de trabajo que estamos utilizando para que usted pueda como eh, verificar el material que hemos visto en todas las clases. Aquí usted tiene todo. No hay donde perderse. Tiene la explicación, tiene los temas que hemos visto e incluso si usted quiere leer como un resumen de todo lo que vimos eh, la semana pasada, la clase 5 la tiene. Hicimos un repaso de todo lo que vimos. Entonces, si usted no quiere ver ni la 1, ni la 2, ni la 3, ni la 4, porque dice usted, ok, yo no tengo suficiente tiempo, entonces usted ve la 5, porque la 5 es un repaso de los cuatro días. Eh, sí. Luego, eh, sí, esa le va a servir bastante, la clase 5, le va a servir muchísimo. Eh, la clase 6, pues es la del día de ayer, esa la puede verificar también, ¿verdad?, y pues, eh, básicamente, bueno, no, ahora. La clase 6 es la directiva de ahora. Y aquí le voy a subir el video. ¿Ok? Le voy a subir el video y aquí la puede verificar si es que le ha quedado alguna duda. Y si no, pues solamente vea la clase 5. Ahora, con lo de la plataforma, eh, ¿ya la pudo activar o todavía no, César? Sí, que eso sí dice que el día lo okay. creo que activé la plataforma. Sí. Eh, para que vaya desarrollando las actividades y pues no le, no, no se atrase muchísimo, ¿verdad? Porque eso después le va a generar a usted eh, más tarea. Entonces es importante que vaya al día. Eh, bien, bueno, mire, en ese momento lo que le puedo yo pues eh, recomendar es eso, que vea la clase número 5, porque ahí está como el feedback de todo, o sea, todo, 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 todo lo resumen. Eh, básicamente pues... Eso sería como mi recomendación por el momento y también pues que trate de conectarse. Yo sé que en ocasiones pues es bien difícil porque todos estamos cansados, ¿verdad? Hemos tal vez trabajado durante el día, entonces sé que se sienten un poco como cansados, etc. Entonces cuando usted tenga algo que hacer en la noche, ¿verdad? O no puede estar como presente en la clase, es decir, no puede estar participando, hágamelo saber. Sí, hágamelo saber para yo 
eh, tener en cuenta que usted no va a poder participar en la clase, pero que va a estar de oyente, porque es bien importante que usted se conecte los 120 minutos. Primero, para que usted tenga la asistencia completa, ¿verdad? Y segundo, pues para que no eh, le afecte en un futuro cuando usted quiera volver a tomar un curso, porque la asistencia es muy importante para que ustedes puedan pasar los módulos. Eh, sí, aquí veo la plataforma, estoy verificando y sí, no veo que haya realizado ninguna actividad de las que hicimos el, el, la semana pasada. Entonces, César, es bien importante que lo termine, ¿verdad? Cuanto más rápido pues active la plataforma, muchísimo, muchísimo que mejor, porque en realidad eh, este, ya pues hicimos la, la primera semana y pues ya entramos a la segunda y esa semana deben de tener hasta la tarea 10. Entonces, la, eh, el viernes tendrían que haber terminado hasta la tarea 5 y esta semana tiene que terminar hasta la tarea 10. Entonces, mientras usted más deje pasar el tiempo, más se le va a ir acumulando el trabajo, ¿verdad? De la plataforma. Sí. Entonces, César, eh, básicamente, pues eso, ¿verdad? Eh, incentivarlo a que se conecte, a que se conecte, siga conectándose, ¿verdad? No, eh, no se desanime. ¿verdad? ya que eh, básicamente pues está en un nivel intermedio, entonces creo que es una muy buena oportunidad para seguir subiendo de nivel, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, anímese, eh, métase a las clases, pero incorpórese, y si tiene alguna dificultad, algún problema, alguna duda, algo, no duden en consultarme, mándeme un mensaje a mí en privado, o si quiere el WhatsApp general del grupo, como usted lo prefiera, y pues yo ahí le voy a responder. Ok, no sé si tiene alguna pregunta, alguna duda, algo que pues eh, no le haya quedado claro, algo que me quiera preguntar en este momento. Eh, por ejemplo, lo, lo de la plataforma, este, eh, si uno se equivoca, lo puede volver a corregir ¿verdad? como el curso anterior. Sí. Si uno no. sí. Mm, va. Ah, pues sí, creo que eso. Me voy a poner al día en la plataforma también para... Voy a ponerme al día con todo. Vaya, perfecto, César. Eso me gusta y eso me agrada que la actitud sea positiva, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, pues sí, eh, puede hacer eso, ¿verdad? Lo de la plataforma puede eh, hacer los ejercicios. Si se equivoca, lo vuelve a hacer y pues lo va a corregir la plataforma. ¿Ok? Eh, le adelanto desde ya que la plataforma tiene algunos errores en algunos ejercicios, pero si se tiene alguna, eh, ya se reportó. Okay, que ha, ha estado dando unos errores en el ejercicio de los comparativos. Creo que es el segundo ejercicio que usted se va a encontrar. Tienen unas fallas, pero ya se reportó. Entonces, en este caso, eh, si usted tiene alguna pregunta respecto a eso, me la hace saber por medio de WhatsApp y yo con mucho gusto le aclaro las dudas. Okay? Vaya, está bueno. Vaya, perfecto. César. ¿Algo más que me quiera comentar o que me quiera decir antes que nos vayamos? Eh, no, solamente eso, teacher. Muchas claro, gracias. Perfecto. Un gusto, César. Pero podemos el día. Ok, usted también. Entonces lo veo el día de mañana. Have a good night. Ok. Descanse. Gracias. Ok, thank you. Bye bye. Bye.